My name's Kara, and I'm an artist, songwriter, and vocal producer. And this is my home studio tour. Two years ago, I uploaded my first studio tour when I was living in Los Angeles. And since then, I've moved to different locations and have been improving and refining my workspace. This space takes the phrase home studio to another level. This space has multiple workstations so that my husband and I, Reed Stefan, can work on multiple projects for music and video production. Every room is equipped for both recording sessions and video shoots. Because in today's world, content and music go hand in hand. So let's head upstairs to what we like to call the vocal studio. Welcome to my vocal booth room. So this is the room that I record all of my vocals. We have custom Psy acoustic concrete treatments on the walls, and we also have Vi-acoustic treatments in the corners. And in the back here, we have some diffusion panels. Since the room is so small, I found this couch at Costco. Super comfy and it fits. <laughs> All right, why don't we take a closer look at my vocal chain? If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I have a Sony C800 microphone, but fairly recently, we purchased a Telefunken 251. This tube condenser microphone sounds super silky and it sounds amazing on female vocals. Below is the power supply for the Telefunken and the preamp. And right next to it, we have some UAD boxes. As my pop filter, I just use a Shure pop filter. Here we have my favorite pair of headphones for mixing and cutting vocals, the Audio Technicas. And the white color is just super sharp. I love it. Over here, we have a bunch of guitar pedals and distortions. We actually don't use these on guitar as much. We use them for vocal effects. So the vocal chain hardware itself are the compressor, preamp, and the Apollo. For the compressor, we have the TubeTech CL1B. And for the preamp, we have the Ventec X73, which emulates a Neve. And below that, we have the Apollo X8, which connects everything in the studio. Up here, we just have a bunch of power supply. And above that, we have our ATC speakers. These are the SCM25s. And we have the big 45s downstairs in the video studio, which you'll see a little bit later. My favorite part about this entire setup is how easy it is to pull out my microphone and just start recording. Everything's already set up and ready to go. For my mouse, we have the Ninja Air 58, which is a gaming mouse, but it's super comfortable and I love using it. This is just a basic MIDI controller for whenever you need it. This right here is a Clarity M Stereo. This helps you see how loud your mix is, as well as stereo width and EQ, depending on what mode you're using it in. Since I make tutorials in every DAW, I also have every DAW on my computer, and I switch back and forth depending on what project I'm working on that day. But we mostly make all of our beats in Ableton and then record my vocals in Pro Tools. On this side of the desk, we have a synthesizer by Moog. It's called the Slim Fatty. And behind that, you can see all of the beautiful uplighting. All of our studio lighting is by Nanlite. Since we do make content as well as music, we pretty much have every product that Nanlite makes to make our setup look amazing. And back here, we have a storage closet. Both Reed and I do a lot of sponsorship videos. So most of the equipment on this wall was given to us to make content. Lots of different interfaces up here. So I don't play guitar, but we have an electric and an acoustic guitar for when my co-writers come over and we want to record some guitar. And dun da da da. <laughs> the Sony C800 microphone. Right now, like I said, we're not using it as much since I'm trying to experiment with the Telefunken, but I'll always have a special place in my heart for this guy. I would say rappers sound really amazing on this microphone, especially male rappers. And this is the Sony power supply as well. 
Over here, we have a couple more keyboards and I think it's time to go check out the next room. Since I vocal produce and engineer myself, this room is where I spend the most time. No matter how big our studio gets, I'll always have a small vocal room. This allows me to stay focused on the vocal, but sometimes I do collaborate with an engineer, so that's what the next room is for. This is a second vocal booth room, and it's actually connected to the first studio, just in case I'm working with another engineer and I wanna be in a separate room, or I come in here if I wanna use the sit-stand desk. This is something I also found at Costco. It's really helpful if I don't feel like sitting and recording myself, which is often, because when I'm standing, I can get better air and a better breath, so I use this a lot. We use this computer screen to see the same thing as we're seeing in Studio A. <laughs> This Mac Pro is the computer connected to both rooms. This is a 28 core Intel Mac Pro from 2019. And of course, we have a bunch of hard drives. We acoustically treated this room the exact same way, but instead of concrete, we got pictures of our cats. <laughs> And we love to keep this room dark and vibey so I could just concentrate on singing. As a creative person, I really enjoy having a change of scenery. So sometimes I just like to record my vocals in different rooms and in a different way so that I can stay fresh and creative and never have a dull moment. Even something as simple as switching between a stand-up desk and a sit-down desk can make a huge difference. We utilize this room all the time when Reed and I are collaborating on a YouTube video. Sometimes you'll see him working in this room while I'm in the other room and vice versa. These two rooms are great for working with about two or three people, but sometimes we have more people involved or we just need more space for bigger projects. It's always been a dream of mine to have a video production studio at home, ready to go whenever I am. So this next space is a huge upgrade and a dream come true. Those are the two vocal booth rooms. Let's go downstairs and check out the video studio where we film content. This is the video production studio. <laughs> Being an artist these days, it's not just about the music, you have to create content. So we use this space to capture video, photography, and have sessions with multiple people. As you can see on the walls, we have the same custom Psy acoustic treatments and concrete. We don't typically record vocals down here, but Reed does like to produce music down here. And I like to edit my YouTube videos here. It's got all the overhead space you need for different lighting and camera angles. We loved our Argosy Halo desk so much that we bought a second one for both studios. Instead of all the vocal chain gear, this one just has a lot of screen space for video editing. To help it sound better in this big room, we got the bigger ATCs, the ATC 45s. These sound exactly the same as the 25s, just with more bass. Here we have the same mouse as we use upstairs, a MIDI controller, the iRig Keys 2 Pro, and another audio analyzer. We also have multiple programs on this computer as well. We use Final Cut to edit our videos, and we also have all the DAWs here. Sometimes I like to be recording vocals upstairs while Reed's working on production down here, so it's really helpful to have both spaces. Since this space is mostly used for producing, we have our keyboards. We have the Juno 106 synthesizer and the Phantom G6. Everything in this desk is connected to the Prism Titan, but when I record vocals, I typically like to have the console app with my Apollo. So in this desk, we have options. Here we have the Neumann NDH30s. These are open back headphones, so they're great for mixing and production, but not so great for vocals. The Better Maker Master EQ and another loudness analyzer. As I mentioned before, we also do photography. So here's a savage seamless paper background. So we have a ton of colors and this is really useful for photo shoots that we want to make look like we're in a studio or product reviews. And also a lot of lighting options, mostly from Nanlite. 
So we have ring lights, soft boxes, spotlights, and up lights. When you're shooting in the same space over and over again, the key to keeping it exciting is having different angles to shoot from, your lighting, and your format. Some days I'm filming a TikTok, some days I'm filming a product review. Some days I'm just singing. Sometimes co-writers and co-producers come over to work and everybody has a place to sit. It's open, comfortable, and always a vibe. I also love how the open floor plan of this construction allows for energy to move freely throughout the room. As soon as you walk in, you feel unlimited possibilities from this space. With all of this equipment, there's a lot of accessories that need to be stored in an organized and accessible way. So let's take a look at our video closet. Here we have a bunch of options for cables and extension cords, a charging station for all of the batteries that we use, Nanlite batteries, the red camera, Canon, you name it, we got it. Here on the shelves is where we keep all of the cameras and lenses as well as a few other things that we may need to grab for a video shoot. We have a drone, a bunch of random audio adapters and microphones, and that's about it. Since we're capturing audio, video, and photos on a daily basis, it's important to have all of our equipment organized and accessible. And there's no better way of doing that than to have a dedicated studio closet. All right, let's check out the living room. Since we work at home, it's really important for us to have separation between life and work. Oh, here's little Bub Bubs. Everybody say hi to Bub Bubs. Say hello. <laughs> well, let's uh, do the cat tour because we have three cats. This is Bubs. They're all girls. Um, we have Kitty Bear and Missy as well. Oh, there's Bitty Bear. <laughs> They have a little cat tree and they absolutely love it. They love going outside, chasing birds and catching flies. <laughs> I'm sure Missy will pop up eventually. Let's take a look at the plaque corner. So I haven't had a hit record yet. Yet, emphasis on yet, but I have done a lot of work that I'm really proud of and receive plaques for. Most of you guys probably recognize me from Splice. The black plaques are from Splice because I had millions of downloads on my vocal sample packs. The silver plaques are from YouTube. Reed and I both passed 100,000 subscribers. So thank you for subscribing. And if you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And then we both have plaques from an app called muso.ai. And this is really cool because it's honoring all of your stats across the board. So you don't actually need a hit record to receive something to honor your work. I've worked with hundreds of DJs in the EDM space. I've had songs cut with other artists, J-pop, K-pop. I've done lots of placements on television and movies. So this plaque represents all of that work, which I'm really proud of. Over here is part of my book collection. For me, life is all about finding balance, healing, and really just being present in the journey. So reading and journaling really helps me do that. And it really helps with my mental health, keeps me happy and motivated every day. Up top, we have Peace, Love & Wubs. <laughs> if you guys are EDM fans, I worked on this album with Ellis Dream. Really, really cool guy. Loved working with him. My song is called Wild Orchids on this record. And over here, we have Harmonica Andromeda by Kashmir. I had three features on this album, and I also recorded all of the opera samples. And honestly, I can't even believe we found this couch. It's amazing. You sink right into it super comfortable and I just love relaxing here. So shout out to Ashley Furniture for this awesome couch. <laughs> but Bubs loves scratchies. Yeah. <laughs> what else do you have to say? <laughs> She's not a happy camper because she wants to go outside. As soon as I'm done with my tour. Well, we have one more room left. Bedroom, bath, and closet. Let's go check that out. I'm super spiritual, so I have a ton of crystals. I have markers, pens, art projects, uh, journaling, reading, anything that can help me stay creative 
that doesn't have to do with music. Once again, a lot of plants because I really believe in the power of nature. I like having plants around because it makes the air feel alive. Now this has to be my favorite part of the house. For me, I really like working with the elements, water, fire, air, earth. Using these elements to my advantage helps me stay grounded. When you're working in an industry that has no set path, it could be the Wild West. It's stressful, you can have a lot of anxiety, there's lots of rejection. So it's important for me to meditate and work with the universe to stay grounded. We have this awesome bathtub where I love to do salt baths detox a little bit and I also have a little altar with all of my crystals. This is my zen zone where I find peace and quiet. Mental health is just as important as physical health so self-care is an absolute must. Awesome shower over here and this is my vanity. For me looking in the mirror is kind of a ritual now. It's a practice. As humans we can be really critical of ourselves especially on our physical appearance so I really had to learn how to appreciate myself. And one way that I do that is by looking in the mirror and telling myself how proud I am. I love saying affirmations because words are incredibly powerful. So yeah, that's a little bit about my personal space. Let's check out wardrobe. As an artist and content creator, I'm always on camera. So for me to execute a cohesive vision, wardrobe, hair, and makeup, super important. I have my costume jewelry here. I have some wigs, accessories, hats, and of course, all of my clothing right here. We have some shoes and lots of options to create different looks. But for the most part, I really do enjoy being comfortable. One of the ways that I bring my brand to life is through colors. So that means that I coordinate and plan my wardrobe, hair, makeup, and scenery so that it all is cohesive and goes together. Attention to detail is what makes entertainment immersive and an overall great experience. And I think I saw a little someone that I want to introduce you to. It's Missy. Oh, say hi to everybody. <laughs> this is our third cat, Missy. She's very cuddly. <laughs> Our cats really are everything to us. They make everything so enjoyable. They're so funny. They have such good little personalities. And we really, really love animals and having them be a part of our journey. Aw, Nickies. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Missy. I'll leave you alone now. What a great way to end this tour. My goal with this studio tour and with everything that I do is to inspire you and to help you hone in your craft day by day and step by step. If you want to learn more about how I approach songwriting, vocal production, and singing, you can check out my courses and vocal templates on my website at iamcara.com. You'll find a variety of courses and templates using your favorite DAW and plugins. Remember, you don't need all of this gear to start making music and to get good at it. And that's exactly what I focus on with the courses on my website. These are all tools that can make your workflow quicker and help you hone in on a specific sound. I hope you guys enjoyed this complete tour of Laser Jungle Studios, and you can find all the links to all the gear in the description below. If you want to enjoy my original music, tutorials, or fun videos like this, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in another video.